Hey guys, so I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee and I will be just patting it in. This will be as my primer. And once I get that all patted in, I do go in with my translucent powder, airspun. Everything that I use will be listed down below. The first color that I go in with um, after that, after I apply the tape, is from my 350 Morphe palette. And they don't name the color, so it's just like a brown, like a light brown. And I go in as a transition color. And then I go in with my Coastal Sense 350 two color palette ultimate palette and I go in with this dark purple and do not be shy with the purple I go in I pack on this purple because I want you to see the purple so I really pack it on so I can have a really good cut crease And now I'm gonna go in and cut my crease with the same concealer by Ella Girl Pro. And then I will apply some translucent powder once I get done with cutting the crease just to set it. And then I'm gonna go in with my NYX glitter glue and I'm just gonna place it in the first like half of my lid, I guess like the beginning. And then I'm gonna go in with this silver glitter. And then of course, all the glitter that I use, I will list down below the names of the glitter and then where I purchased it from. I did get it offline. So I will link that down below. And then I just kind of pat on the glitter. And then I go in and put some more glitter. Like I do it in sections. Uh, just because you don't want the glitter to dry out before you get to that section. So I do it in sections. So I went on and apply some more glitter glue. And then I go in with this pink color glitter. And I'm just going to pat that on. And I do use a smaller brush just because I've noticed with a bigger brush, you know it could be a lot messier so I use a smaller brush and then you know once you grab the glitter on the brush or dip it in the glitter then you want to tap it slightly on the you know lid or something just so the fallout can fall out and then you put it on your lid so you can reduce the fallout amount so now I'm applying this purple color it's like a light purple because at the end I'm gonna apply a dark purple these are like so like spring colors. And now I'm just patting that light purple in. And then now I'm applying some more glue. And then I'm gonna go in with the dark purple. And these glitters are gorgeous. Like, I don't even think the camera is, like, showcasing the full potential of these glitters. And, of course, you can switch up the colors. You can do whatever colors you want with this eye look. I just chose this color because spring and, you know, just some bright, kind of, like, fun colors. So... And pretty much that's gonna be it for the glitter. And then I will go back in with that dark purple and an angle brush and kind of just define my crease area. And then I go in with a lighter purple color from that Coastal Sense palette. And kind of blend out the darker purple just so it doesn't look too too harsh but i definitely want you to see the purple okay 
So then I go back in with my Morphe 3 Pep O palette and use this shimmery like kind of gold color. It ain't too bold, but it's just kind of the highlight under my brow. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite NYC Black Liquid Eyeliner. You guys know I love this stuff. And then I'm just going to make a you know, simple wing liner. Oh, wing eye. Did I say that right? I don't know. But if you can put on your liner before you put on the glitter, that would be ideal. But because glitter can be a little bit messy, that's why I put on afterwards. So my wing liner is looking a little rough, but I like it. So it works for me. And then I apply my mascara. You can use whatever mascara you have at home because I am going to apply falsies over it. So just apply some mascara and then your falsies. I'll go ahead and remove the tape. And as you see, the tape just helps you have that clean line. And then I just take the tape and just pat any extra, you know, just pick up any extra glitter that fell on my face. And that's pretty much it for the eye look. Like, it's not hard to do, but it can be messy. So, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely comment below if you did enjoy it or if you would like to see other color glitters. And I would love to do that for you guys. So, definitely subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys in my next video.